Okay, so here we start now. Hello viewers. How are you all? I hope you all are well at home. Welcome to my classroom. You all are missing this class, right? Today, we will see history of novel in this video. And travel the world. Yes, we are going to travel the world. That's the thing about the books. They let you travel without moving your feet. I told you to use some questions so I can make this video. So I got some questions from you. Let's see the first question. Have you ever wondered who wrote the first novel? The earlier threads of the novel can be found in the book written by Virgil's Equilogus or Mallory's Morty the Arthur or Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. But to get the answer, let's fly to Japan. In the Japan, there was a writer called Murasaki Shikubus. He has written a novel called Tale of Genji. He wrote this novel in Japanese language in the year 1010. Now we are in 2020. Like that in the year 1010, he has written this novel. And it has been described as world's first novel. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Where did the word novel come from? For answer, get ready to fly it will. And be careful, Corona is there. So wear your mask. In the 14th century, the Italian writers they began writing collections of short stories, short tales. And these short stories they called novella. In Italian, they called it novella, which means new. And from this word novella, three centuries later, that is in 17th century, the English people, they coined the word novel. I hope you understand this. Uh, the next question, why has novel caught the spirit of the 18th century? One of you only have asked this. Again, there is another question similar. Why is novel more popular than the periodical essay? For answer, from Italy we will move to England. In England, in the 18th century, the English people, they got the gift to new literature forms. And it has no traces in the uh, ancient classical heritage of there. So these were newly formed literatures. One was periodical essay and the other was novel. Now what is periodical essay? What is novel? Let's understand this from this simple slide. Periodical essay, by the name you understand, it is an essay. Novel is a narrative form, means narrating a story. Essay, it is a short work, whereas novel, it is a long work, long narrative work. Periodical essays, mostly they are non-fiction, whereas novel is fiction means which is not real, which is imaginative. Periodical essays publishes in magazine or journal, whereas novel published separately as a book. Periodical essay appears as part of series. Most of them used to publish in newspaper. So there used to be a series, part one, part two. Whereas novel, it appears completely 
or it has volumes or editions. But why novel has become more popular in the 18th century? The question remains same. Answer is that age was called the age of intellectual, sentimental, and realistic play. And the novel tried to instruct the readers and that helped the people to make their life more purposeful and virtuous life. Virtuous means uh, we can say beautiful life, meaningful life. By reading novels, people made their life meaningful. What novel exactly? In a simple words, we will say novel it narrates a story. We all know that, and it gives more details about time, place, nature, people, and their minds. People's gestures, their activities, it is narrated in the novel. Novel creates a picture of the society. When we read novel, it gives a picture of that society. A novel makes the life easier to understand than in drama and poetry. So this is novel. The question was. Uh, I mean, the next question was, weren't there books before novel, as novel, the first novel considered Tale of Genji, which was published in 1010. Weren't there books before novel? For answer, we need to travel. So from England, we are moving to Greek, as Greek has answer. Before novel, the collection of stories, which was known as Greek romances, and it goes back to the 2nd or 6th centuries. Like nowadays you might be watching Mahabharata and Ramayana. In that time, Greek romances were there. Their stories were there. Uh, you might have studied this in 9th or 10th standard. Odysseus, Homer, the blind poet who wrote these poems. So these imaginative and delightful stories of ideal love and marvelous adventures profoundly affected the creative writing for the next thousand years. Now the next important question is, which is the first European novel? Before we see this answer, we need to fly again. I am sitting here, but we can fly. Can you guess this country? Which country is it? Yes, Hola, Spain. Spain has the answer. The European novel is often said to begin with Don Quixote, written by a Spanish writer, Miguel de Cervantes. Name is Miguel de Cervantes. He wrote this novel, Don Quixote. You can find this uh, novel outline or story in the 5th or 6th standard textbook of English. Yes, it's there. Don Quixote. And this was published in 1605 and 1650. So it published in two parts. Understood this? Let's move to the next. Now here, what you're supposed to do Go to the menti.com. Just note down this uh, website name, menti.com, and use the code 588309. And you will see one question over there based on what you have heard right now. So answer it and then come back to the video. You can go right now on menti.com, use the code 588309.
your answer will be displayed here only so just go to menti.com use this code and come back to video Okay, 17 students have responded till 3 says Dawn, 3 say Dawn Quixote is the first novel of the world, 14 say L of Genji, what about others, where are they, you can see your responses. And after responding, come back to the video. You can also see your response here. 17 have gathered. Okay, 18. 18 are there who say tell of Genji. 19. Nineteen have responded. Tell of Genji is the world's first novel. Three say Don Quixote is the world's first novel. Total 22 students have responded still. There are total 30 students right now. They are viewing it. They have 23. Good. Let's see the answer then. Answer is Tell of Genji is the first novel in the world. It was written in Japanese language in the year 1010. Now let's back to our These my controls. No need to see them. Now we are back. Let's continue now. The next question is Why does novel become so popular? Or why novel became so popular? For answer We are not going anywhere right now. We are here only. Because since the origin of the novel the novel has been gaining popularity, it became popular and growing gradually, slowly and steadily. And today, novel is considered as the most dominant literary genre in the world. Why? Because in the 18th century, the appearance of newspapers and magazines means before 18th century, there were no newspapers, no magazines. So when this appeared, it attracted a large number of readers from the middle class. And these middle class people, these new readers, they had little interest in they had little interest in romances and tragedies. It was appreciated by only 
upper class. So thus, need for new type of literature arose and that would express the new ideas of the 18th century. So this way the novel became popular. Move to the next question. Why does novel make life easier than drama and poetry? One of the students asked this, why novel became easier than drama and poetry? Now from Spain, we are going back to England. After 1740, when the novel was considered as literary form in England, or originated as a literary form in England. There was increase in trade and commerce. We all know this industrial revolution took place in England and this gave rise to the middle class. A class of people who had emerged to occupy an elite status. Now this middle class, they got the status as they got the work, as they got the money. So, the realistic picture of everyday life, the problems of common people, it started depicting, describing, showing in the novels. And it attracted the new, newly educated class. So, this newly educated class they respected this new form, literature form, that is novel. And they thought this is the best reading material for them because it depicts their problem. So when anyone depicts our problem in the movies or in the serials, we get attracted towards it. So they considered this as their reading material. And thus novel as a form appears to have been designed for both to voice the aspirations of the middle class and lower class. So this novel it was like their voice, as if they want to speak something and they can speak through this novels. So either they can write the novels or either they can read the novels as if they, they were want this only, no other literature forms. So as well as the spread of machines at that time to the educated people, to the educated class. So they started discussing and reading about the books. So machines also help to make this novel or the, this genre popular than just a minute. So they started reading this kind of materials and the drama and poetry, these literary forms were fading away. Fading away means they become less or they become less important. So this way a novel became popular in that era. As well as novel, which was a combination of some new features. It had some new features, it had poems as well. It has some drama parts as well, as well as novel, it covers many things. In novel, you can find social issues, you can read about political issues, cultural happenings, scientific progress. So it was spread in all the fields. So large number of readers like to read novel. The next question is, uh, who is called the father of English novel? Uh, viewers, before I answer this question, this is some important novelist of that time who wrote novels. So the first you see the Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. He wrote this novel in 1678. Then comes Afra Ben. She wrote Oronoku in 1688. And this novelist, they initiated the plenteous, plentiful and colorful tradition of English novel 
then which was followed by other novelists like Daniel Defoe, who wrote Robinson Crusoe. He also wrote Mal Flanders and Jonathan Swift. Jonathan Swift he wrote Gulliver's Travels. Gulliver's Travels. Uh, this story you can find in a movie, Jajantram Mamantram, where a man accidentally landed on an island where there are all Lilliputians, small height people, and how he survives there. So it's a wonderful story, you must read it. Other major novelists of 18th centuries are Samuel Richardson, who wrote Pamela or Virtue Rewarded, then he also wrote Clarissa, and his novels he wrote in letter forms. Then comes Henry Fielding, pay attention, Henry Fielding, he is considered the father of English novel. Then Lawrence Stern is there, Tobias Smollett is there. The tradition then enriched by many other stalwart, loyal, reliable and hardworking novelists such as Charles Dickens. Students, you might have heard his name, Charles Dickens. His story you had in 8th standard, if I am not wrong. Uh, Oliver Twist, written by him only, Charles Dickens. Then Walter Scott, other writer like Nathaniel Hawthorne, Horace Walpole, Thomas Hardy, Wilkie Collins, and H.G. Wells. These are from the 18th century. I will see some novelists from the 20th century who wrote on the modern topics on in an innovative style techniques they have used. They widen the angles of the novel like the novelist uh, E.M. Foster, James Joyce, Joseph Conrad, then Henry James, George Orwell. You can see George Orwell book is here as well. Animal Farm, George Orwell. Then Graham Greene. These are all European novelists. Then D.H. Lawrence, one of my favorite novelists. William Golding. William Golding he has even book uh, Lord of the Flies. Wonderful novelist. Then uh, Anthony Burgess. So they widen the circumference of genre by writing on political issues, social, psychological, and other modern issues in their novels. There are some immigrant novelists from the other countries, like uh, say name here Salman Rajdi is from India. He's modern novelist. Then V. S. Naipaul is from Trinidad. Caribbean country, then Kazuo Ishigura, by the name you can understand, it is from Japan. So, again, I tell you, Henry Fielding, Fielding is considered the father of English novel. Now, again, we have a simple question, and this is last one. Go back to menti.com. Now, use this code, don't use the previous code. Use this code You can respond here. You just started the quiz, so you can respond. 
कौन सी वन रिस्पॉन्डेड कौन सी आंसर और हर आंसर so you just respond here and answer will be displayed later okay, 14 have responded till now uh, do you not responded go and respond it as well as to so join our subscribe subscribe the channel subscribe it because i'm going to add some more videos not related to the lessons all the time some videos i will help you to improve your english i will help you to speak confidently so do that for you find i can see 22 students have responded so That is enough. So I go back to my. Slide and we continue. Ah, what about women? Aren't there women novelist? They can gossip, so they can write novels. Doesn't mean that they only gossip. It's a fact. Men gossip lost. Men gossip lost. That it is blamed to women. But that is not my part now. Our question is: Are there women novelists? Yes, definitely there were women novelists. Without them, the world is incomplete. So how can novel be complete? So the great novelist, they cannot be neglected here. Female novel, especially. See the first, the novel of manners. Evelina is the name of the novel written by the novelist Frances Burney. Then Gothic novels were there. We are not discussing right now types of novel. We are just going to see female novels. Types of novels we will discuss later. Just see names of the novelist. Gothic novels by Anne Radcliffe. A novel based on science of the age. This novel based on the science. Frankenstein. Uh, this novel name of the novel, which was written by Mary Shelley. This Frankenstein, where a science is used to make a dead person alive or something like a robot. So see. Novel can inspire many people to do things. Jane Austen, she has been ruling over the minds of the people. Sorry, she has been ruling over the minds of the people through her novels. Then Bronte sisters are there. Emily Bronte, Charlotte Bronte. They have their own space, and their works are incomparable. Like uh, the Wuthering Heights, Jane Eyre. And it's Charlotte Bronte. Her poems, I think you have studied in 10th standard, or you can go back to see in 10th standard books. You'll find her poems there. Then Mary Evans Urf, yes, means also known as Mary Ann Evans, also known as George Eliot. She is a woman, and she has written novels reflecting psychological insight. That is in psychology. Give some idea about psychology. The Virginia Virginia Woolf, one of my favorite novelists. Again, novelists. 
Virginia Woolf, she is the pioneer of stream of consciousness technique in English novel. Her famous novel, Mrs. Dalloway. Uh, then next novelist, Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie, she has written her novels based on crime and her two important characters, detective characters. You can see the name here. Hercules Poirot and Miss Markham. These are the detective characters created by her. Some other names, Harkavli, she wrote a novel to kill a mountain bird. There is a movie also, old movie, if you like, you can watch it. By the same name, to kill a mountain bird. Then Margaret Atwood, Tony Morrison, Alice Walker, these are the female novelist. Uh, is anyone left behind? Because we are going back to India now. So if anyone is left, come back. We are back to India. So here we have done with our video. Oh no, there is one more question. What about India? Are you there Indian novelist? One name we have seen. Is there only one name? Salman Jansi. Oh. In India, India is so great. We are top in Corona as well now. So, uh, Indian novelist, in the first you see the name here, Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay. He wrote a novel, Raj Mohan's Wife, which was serialized the Indian film. And that period after his novel, uh, let me tell you, Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay, uh, sorry, Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay, was considered the first Indian novelist. Then many novelists they wrote on nationalistic issues, social issues. The three names I give you here Murukra Janan, Arke Narayan, the first story that we have, an astrologer's day, written by Arke Narayan only, and Raja Rao. The three major trials of the novelist. Then the novelist like Anta Desai, Nayantara Segal, Arun Joshi, Manohar Malgaukar, the change the current of the Indian English novel in their works. Current means they are Then uh, Amita Ghosh is there. Vikram Seth, Manmir Chatterjee, they made the Indian novel better by adding some new features to it. And the recent years, you can witness by the Gaijin, extremely impressive, skillful performance by Indian novelists like Siman Rajdi, as you can see Salman Rajdi here, Arvinda Adiga, Arun Gati Roy, Kiran Desai, and Kiran Nagarkar. So the traditional Indian English novel has undergone a vital change since its birth and it has undoubtedly a very bright future. As novelists you can see the name like uh, Robin Sharma, then uh, the three writer Chetan Bhagat, then uh, is another uh, Sudha Murti. These are the quite famous writers. Students, I hope you have understood this video. I have taken a lot of efforts to make this video.